hello welcome to texture myth in this session we will learn about the compile time array so what is compile time array compile time array is a type of array which uh, populates the data at the time of compilation so here i have created that program to demonstrate the concept of compile time array let's go through that program so i'm taking my program in edit mode by taking option 2 after that you have to press shift f7 to go to the first position and here uh, we are writing the code in fully free format therefore you have to specify star star free at this position so on the very first position i am writing star star free below to that we have declared the compile time array so to declare the compile time array you have to write dcl as then you have to give your uh, array name which is days so here I'm uh, creating one compile time array to store the days, number of days or days. Okay. Now after that, we have to specify the size of how many characters we want to store in uh, each dimension of the array. So here I have written it as a where care three. So here we will store where care three means three character in a row uh, in a one dimension and here we have specified dimension as six so this array will have six dimension and this is the other keyword we use with the compile time array which is per record so it means like in uh, we store the data inside the program and in each row we can uh, categorize the data into uh, some pieces of records so we are breaking it into a per record which is three that i will explain you like what exactly this per record is and after that you have to write this keyword ct data which means compile time data array so this is the structure through which we can declare the any compile time data array okay so once it is declared now before we jump to the main logic here what we are doing we are just declaring some uh, variable and then we are populating the data from the array it means we are just displaying it but the main concept is that how we are assigning the values so to understand that let's go to the end of the program so for that you have to write bot or b which means bottom so in this way we have we will store the data for compile time array so this is the syntax you have to write asterisk asterisk on the first position then you can give any name for the comments like uh, this is my compile time data array it is not mandatory but always keep some meaningful name here so that you can identify so this is my array for this purpose now here what we are doing we are storing some values so as we have declared it or as a three character data so that's why i have written it as a mon then tue wed thr fri and sat so let's understand the things properly so three characters means it will pick three character and consider it as a one record and here we have uh, specified per record three so what it will do it will check for three records in a same row so it will pick this first record then it will pick the second record three character then third record three characters now per record is only three so it will change the line and now it will pick these three record three three and three till when till the dimension is six we have specified that dimension only is a uh, dimension will be six one record will contain three characters and one row contain three records so these are the three character it means this is the first record for first dimension then we have this three characters second record and of three characters then third record of three characters so three per record means three record we have got in this row then it will change the line and it will pick the uh, another three record 333 three, three. so these are the records this is how the records is break down here to make it more simple let me explain it to you again divide this array into uh, three parts first is character type length three so it will pick the three characters so this is my first record so per record three means it will check for another two records because we've got one then it will find for second three characters so this is my second record then it will go for third character so this is of three characters 
so per record three it means we are uh, we have fetched all the three records then it will change the line and mm -hmm. again it will pick for another three characters then for another three characters and then for another three characters but this time we are not changing line because we have only six dimension and we have got six dimension data mon in first dimension tue in second wed in third and likewise i hope now the uh, compile time data array is clear like how to assign the values and what is the use of per record keyword how the dimension is specified and this is the size and the only advantage of uh, compile time array is that we can store the data inside the array at the bottom okay so whenever you want to uh, get any data from the at the time of compilation then you can uh, create the compile time array now see the main logic so after declaring the array what we are doing we are declaring some variables which is index and result index is of numeric type uh, of size 4 and we have initialized it with 1 so this we will use mainly for running the loop and then we have result variable of varchar 20 it means it uh, it will contain 20 characters data and maximum 20 characters data and we have initialized it without any number because uh, just to make sure that it will not contain any garbage value now below to that we are uh, running one loop do while loop till the index is less than or equal to six because we have only six dimensions so we are running it six times and then what we are doing which is we are just uh, storing days of index in results so what it will do days index will increment by one so firstly it is one so it will go for days one so days one days is the array name so days one means monday mon then it will display it and increment the index with one so now index become two so days of two is tuesday it will not go in uh, top to bottom it will go from left to right so pick three characters from here then it will go for three characters here then for three characters because per record is three okay and one by one it will populate all the data and at the end we are setting star inlr request to star on to close all the files so let's compile this program and see how we are getting the data mon tue wed thr fri and sat which is correct okay so mainly we are storing only six a days data here so this is how we can utilize the compile time array so if you want to uh, keep a five length record in one row then you can make it as a five so what it will do it will go for five records then it will go for another five records and uh, as per the size but you have to make sure that the size and should uh, the type and dimension should be equal it doesn't mean like you have make it as a three record but the size is only one character so as per your requirement you have to design your compile time array and then you can utilize it mostly we use this compile time array for populating the error message in the projects so yeah uh, that's it for this session in the upcoming session we will learn about few more things so thank you for watching texture myth